today I'm going to be checking out the Elgin and Winter Garden Theatres and Toronto City Hall that were part of Doors Open Toronto. Doors Open has been running since 2000 and offers almost 700 different locations across the city to check out, from museums to fire stations to theatres. There's something for everyone. The Elgin and Winter Garden Theatres are a pair of stacked theatres, with Winter Garden being seven storeys above Elgin. They are the last surviving Edwardian stacked theatres in the world. The Winter Garden Theatre was designed to have the atmospheric feel of a country garden with painted murals, garden trellises, tree trunk columns, and lantern lights all throughout the theatre, and catered to the vaudeville market with reserved seats at premium prices for the fancy crowd. By 1928, the lower theater was converted to start showing sound films that were becoming popular at the time. Then the Winter Garden Theater was closed for around 60 years before it reopened. The equally beautiful Elgin Theatre below has served as host to the Toronto International Film Festival and a variety of shows from Cats, The Who's Tommy Musical, Ross Petty Shows, and even hosted Conan O'Brien for his late night talk show in 2004. The theatres opened way back in 1913, with the Elgin Theatre originally being called the Lowe's Young Street Theatre. As mentioned, it's gone through quite the transformation from the old vaudeville acts, short silent movies, to sound movies, to the big stage shows of today. If you missed this year's event, next year's Doors Open Toronto is slated for May 27th and 28th, 2023. For my next stop, I popped over to Toronto City Hall in Nathan Phillips Square. New City Hall opened in 1965 and was placed just a smidge to the west of Old City Hall. Old City Hall continues to house the municipal offices and the courts. Just as I was stepping through the doors of City Hall, the security guard said that the lineup was closed for the day. Oh well, there's always next year's doors open in Toronto. <laughs> 